Hi, this is Al from Sailing Company, and I'm here today to introduce the HT Italia uh, THT45 thermal imaging camera. And it's a nice little handheld device. We're going to take a closer look at it here in a moment. Okay, so here's, here's the main control panel of this thing. And um, it's quite simple to operate. You can see it's got a color screen, and the color screen has a number of, of bits of information on it. It's got the, the units of the temperature, this, in this case degrees centigrade. It's got the, the time clock here. Um, I've got the spot meter on, so it's giving me the, the temperature of, the, of where the crosshairs are. And a battery indicator and a uh, card for the, or an indicator for the SD card. The, the SD card lives in the handle, and this particular card in there is a seven gigabyte card, uh, seven gigabyte capacity. Um, there's a there's the display and then there's a bunch of buttons of course you got the uh, power on off in the lower right hand corner but we'll go around the the buttons this way there's basically two menu selection buttons here and here and then there's a number of other buttons here the, the unit has a laser pointer and you can turn that on this way with this button and it also has a white LED illuminator which is operated from this button these other two are obviously just zoom controls, so you can zoom in and out. Okay, down here in the lower left-hand corner is a button for looking at the contents of the SD card. So this button here is for bringing up the um, utility menu right there. You just hold that and then you get a number of other um, choices here and you can configure the unit how you want it. Okay, the other button over here, uh, let me see if I can get out of here. Okay, close. All right, this button here is your automatic and manual button. Right now, the, the little key lock symbol is open, so I'm in automatic, and if I close this, or if I hit the button again, the key lock closes, and now I'm in manual mode. And if I hold manual mode for a couple of seconds, then you get the ability to set your lower limit and your upper limit of the temperature scale that you want to enter manually. So I'm going to cancel out of that and get back to automatic mode. The, the unit also has a lithium ion battery which also lives in the handle along with the SD card and it's, and it's good for about four hours of operation. Um, some of the other features I'll have to show you in a minute when we take this thing off of the, uh, the stand and I can show you the other controls and features that are on it. Here we see the other end of the thermal imaging camera and I just want to point out three or four features on it. Um, first of all, here's the aperture and the cover. and. You can see the different parts that are here. There's a, there's a laser output at the, the pointer, and there's an LED white light of general illuminator. Um, this part here has a focus control that you can work with either hand. Um, and that's useful for sharpening up your image and getting better temperature numbers. The trigger just underneath here can be used in two different ways. Um, just pressing it for just a second, you can take a still photo. If you hold it down for several seconds, you'll initiate a movie. So that's how you that's how you can use that. Pressing again will stop either the, will stop the movie. Then on each side of the unit, there's a couple of little ear flaps that come out. Here's one. And this is for your audio, which includes earbuds and a microphone, and your battery charger inlet. And then on the other side, we have another ear flap that comes out. And there's an HDMI connector and a USB device connector. The, um, this is the USB device is what you use to upload your images or other files to your PC application, or if you just want to look at the movie you've just taken, you can run that right on your PC without any additional software. 
This is a view of the uh, software that comes with the IR imaging system. It's called THT Link, and it installs on machines from Windows XP up to the present. Um, so here's the here's the opening page. Uh, I'm not going to show about getting files into it because it's very straightforward like any other file management system you've ever seen before. It, uh, it works beautifully and just brings your files right in. So uh, here's a shot of that same integrated circuit that I had taken earlier and uploaded. Um, when you upload the image, you get it here in this panel. But you also get a regular visible light picture of the same thing over here, so at least you know what you're looking at. Of course, this is the power switch here, which is corresponds to this thing here. And here's a thermal profile of the entire picture right there. And um, over on the left, there's all different kinds of other image property data that, that got uploaded from the camera along with the picture. If you want to, you know, as I said earlier, we were interested in the temperature of this chip. So one of the things you can do is go to data analysis. There's a number of analysis tools over here and if you mouse over them it tells you, you know, what they are. So I just wanted to get a simple thermal gradient across from one blue area to another going through the chip just to see what would happen. So I selected the line right here and just drew a line from top to bottom. And a couple of things happen. One is, is it gives you an, some numerical information right here about the line. It tells you it's line number one and what its max and min are. And it also gives you a graph of, of the temperature of the line. So right up here, you can see that you know we've got a particular temperature going on right, at that, right there. So the max over here that this thing was saying was about 73 degrees centigrade, and we wanted to know if that was really a problem. So, you know, of course we know about the chip, and the chip's rated, its maximum rating is 150, so the, this chip is actually operating about halfway between room temperature and, and its maximum, so it's really no problem with it. But still, it's better to know that before you go too far with making a whole bunch of thousands of these things. So this is an example of how you can use this tool to prove your design or to find faults that you might have not seen otherwise. And it's a lot faster than attaching thermocouples to everything.